And then he said, I only have four fingers. Ah, that's scary. That's right, it is. Yeah, but we know a scarier poem. You bet we do. But first, a warning. Kids, this is our Campfire Spooky Poetry Slam. If your parents get scared easily, you might not want to let them watch this episode. For that matter, you might not want to watch it. Okay, we warned you. You're on your own now. Here we go. Little orphan Annie's come to our house to stay and wash the cups and saucers and brush the crumbs away and shoo the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep and make the fire and bake the bread and earn her board and keep. And all us other children, when the supper things is done, we sit around the kitchen fire and has the mostest fun and listening to the witch tales that Annie tells about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Once there was a little boy who wouldn't say his prayers, and when he went to bed at night, away upstairs, his mommy heard him holler and his daddy heard him bawl, and when he turned the kivers down, he wasn't there at all. And they seeked him in the rafter room and cubby hole and press, and seeked him up the chimney flue and everywhere's, I guess. But all they ever found was his pants and roundabout. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And one time a little girl would always laugh and grin and make fun of everyone and all her blood and kin. And once when they was company and old folks was there, she mocked him and she shocked him and she said she didn't care. And this as she kicked her heels and turned and run and hide. They was two big great black things standing by her side. And they snatched her through the ceiling for she knowed what she's about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And little orphan Annie says when the blaze is blue and the lamp wick sputters and the wind goes woo and you hear the crickets quit and the moon is gray and the lightning bugs in dew is all squenched away. You better mind your parents and your teachers fond and dear and cherish them that loves you and to dry the orphan's tear. And eat the poor needy ones that clusters all about. Or the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. <laughs> well, that sure is a fun and spooky poem. Yes, it's old too. Written in 1885 by James Whitcomb Riley. So, dinosaurs and goblins lived at the same time? Bug, there are two things wrong with that. Dinosaurs lived way before 1885, and goblins don't exist. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then who's going to tell him that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was awesome, Bug. Hey, everybody, be sure to subscribe by pressing that circle with our faces on it. Yeah, and after you subscribe, click on the rectangle to go to the next amazing Book and Shook video. What a great idea. Yay! Yay!